In this next video, we're going to be getting into some pretty exciting parts of working with animation. And for the most part, we're going to be seeing some things that we've seen already in different video tutorials. For example, we're going to be exploring again how to create keyframe animation, shape tween animation, and the two different types of movie clip animation, motion tween animation. However, what we're going to be doing with those types of animation is using them in a much more sophisticated manner by nesting or embedding them inside of a symbol. And these nested symbols and nested animations are going to be put specifically into movie clip symbols. If you remember, a movie clip symbol acts just like the main timeline. It's got its own timeline, it loops just like the regular flash movie would loop, and for our purposes we can get and create very sophisticated animations simply by using a few frames that will loop inside of our movie. Let me give you a scenario. For example, if I wanted to create a keyframe animation with a bug's wings flapping open and closed, if I needed 10, frame, uh, 10 seconds of animation at 30 frames per second, what I would need then was 300 frames of animation with the wings open, wings closed, open, closed, open, closed. Imagine doing that 300 times on the main timeline. Well, if we work a little smarter rather than harder, we can nest two frames, open wing, close wing, inside of a movie clip, and that will continuously loop. And then we'll be able to move that across the stage and do any number of different things with it. So why don't we get a little example of how that works, and we'll try doing that by number one, creating a simple bug whose wings will be flapping. So you'll notice here I'm just picking out some color, and I'm just going to take a gray, as well as a green fill color. So gray stroke, green fill color. I could select that and I could make that stroke be a little bit larger. Perhaps I'll say three pixel stroke. So I'm going to, with my black arrow tool, completely select that object and if you remember we're going to convert it into a symbol. Now this symbol I'm going to call bug underscore MC. MC for movie clip because as we can see the type of symbol I'm using is a movie clip. Very important. That's exactly what I want to be doing right now. Registration points right in the middle and that's perfectly fine and we're going to just click OK. So now I've got this symbol. As you can see I'm on scene one and if we want to enter into this symbol, in other words I already have the head of the bug nested in this symbol so let's go inside and build up the rest of this bug. So to enter or to open this symbol you double click, now we're in sort of an isolation mode and you'll see that we're no longer on scene one, we're inside the movie clip called Bug MC. I'm pressing the space bar just to move my canvas up a little bit higher and this is our head layer so I'm going to name that the head layer. I don't really need anything else on the head layer so I'm going to lock it. Now I'm going to create a new layer which we'll call Body. At this point I'm going to switch back to my rectangular tool and I'll create sort of a fat oval shape that I'll be using for the body of my bug. You can sort of align it as best as you want. I'm just eyeballing it right here and I'm placing it right now. It's on top of the head but I'm going to place it underneath the head just like that. Now I'm not going to need to do anything else with that body. Of course this is a very simple example of a bug drawing. But as you can see, here's the bug and the head layer both locked. So at this point, what I'm going to do is create L wing. And that stands for the left wing. So let's go about creating the left wing. Here's what we'll do. I'm just moving over my tools for a second so I could show you a little bit better. And what I'd like you to do is to just choose, you know, black color or something for the fill. And then click on it again, and we're going to change the opacity to something like 50%. All right. Well, at this point, I'm going to just drag that back into place. We don't really need it so large. So after taking a transparent fill color, I'm going to create my wings for my bug. So as you can see, I'm going to double click it and using my arrow keys I'm just going to nudge it into place. Just like that. You'll notice it's still underneath the wing which is just fine for me right now. Alright, 
So at this point, we can copy the entire frame if we wish. For example, I can right click and I could say copy this frame. And then if I create a new layer, which I'll call our wing, of course, for the right wing, and I will say paste the frame. So now I've got an exact duplicate, and the reason I put it in exactly the same spot is so that we can use our arrow keys to nudge that over just a little bit as well. All right, so I think I've got something that I'm happy with. Well, as you can see, right now, we've got both of the wings closed, and that's one frame inside the movie clip. However, what we actually want is two frames of animation. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag the entire second frame here and we're going to say insert frame. Now, at this point what we have is the same the whole way through. However, on the right wing layer I'm going to select it and I'm going to say this second frame I want to be a keyframe. So if you remember, inserting a keyframe means when we select the object and let's double click it so we make sure everything is selected. We're going to rotate it. Now notice the rotation is right in the center here and I don't want that so I'm going to move that up here so that my bugs wings can rotate in this direction. In fact if you want you can even hold shift. 45 degrees a bit much for me so I'm just going to give it a much more subtle variation. So that one's open. Now I'm going to go to the left wing. Insert a keyframe. Move my center point up to the top again and we'll move this one in a corresponding fashion. So, it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. Well, let's take a look. As you can see, open, closed, open, closed. So I've got my potential for my wings flapping. Let's go back to scene one. Notice what we had inside the movie clip. Let me switch back to my black arrow. Inside the movie clip, we had a whole bunch of frames and layers. But, see there, head, right wing, left wing, body, but on scene one, there's only one frame. That's because everything has been encapsulated inside of this movie clip. It's all bundled up nice and neat with a bow tie tied on it. So I'm going to call this the MC layer, or the movie clip layer. And remember, inside the movie clip, we've got all of the parts of the bug, moving or otherwise. So as you can see here, nothing's moving. So in order to preview what the animation inside the movie clip actually looks like, you're going to have to press Control enter And when you do, to test your movie, what you'll see, especially if you're at 30 frames per second, is pretty fast flapping. All right, now imagine that if we didn't do this inside the movie clip and we wanted, you know, 300 frames, we would have to go open, close, open, close, create all of those keyframes on the main timeline. That's just way too much work. So now instead what we could do is, for example, I could take the object and just choosing my free transform tool, I'm going to rotate him in this direction. Let's create a basic uh, new tween, right? So I'll say create a motion tween. There's 30 frames. I'm going to now just move him, let's say, off the stage. You can nudge him along if you wish. And, well, I could even start him off the stage as well, just to show you. And if we press Control enter let's take a look. So while the motion tween is moving the movie clip symbol, what's inside the symbol is flapping. So you'll notice I didn't have to make 30 frames open-close animation. I only did it for two frames inside the movie clip symbol. And that creates this great little animation that we have here. Remember that this is also movie clip symbols, right? So uh, given that they are symbols, you know, I could create a new layer here uh, called Swarm or something along those lines. And you could put as many of these bugs on the stage as you like. And when you press Control Enter, you see these things moving, um, you notice that you create a very easy to work with animation just by using nested keyframes. So come back for the next video because we're going to be looking at nested shape tweens.